it's a, a funny story, and it's usually, you know, I give the same answer because it is a funny story. <clears throat> I was um, singing since the very beginning of my life, huh? since I was two, there are tapes actually, you know, cassette tapes of me that my parents recorded, I was just singing everything I heard on the radio. I come from a non-musical family, uh, even in extended family there's no uh, certain musical talent, so environment we were listening, radio, pop music, folk music, and I was just singing everything when I was two or three and I wouldn't stop singing. I was fighting for the microphone when they were re recording or you know, I wanted to be. Right? So people told my parents, oh, you have to send this boy to the music school, right? When I was five. So they, you know, they took their advice seriously. They took me to music school. My mother wanted me to play accordion because it's a folk instrument in, you know, in my country. And there was no place for accordionists in the music school. I was five. Uh, and there was no place any f for any instrument, actually. So the only place there was was a dance, ballet dance school. So I ended up, five years old, dancing in dancing school. Me, as only boy with, you know, ten girls. I, my memories, I remember that clearly, running around in a tutu, wearing a tutu. and uh, Actually, really funny now when I think of it. I might have been a, you know, ballet dancer. But then one day, accidentally, this guy passed by. My mother was always waiting in front, and he said, what is this boy doing here? This is ridiculous. And, and she said, well, there was no place in accordion. Said, but I teach guitar. Why that doesn't he you know? I'll make space for him. So by pure chance, I went to his lessons, and he started teaching me guitar. So I began when I was six, right? And uh, it went well immediately. Immediately. When I was seven, I made my first little competition. Well, state competition. I, I got high price. And from then on, I just, uh, I, I guess, guitar decided I'll be a guitarist. It was not so much me, you know, it just happened by pure chance. Uh, and here I am, professional guitarist, you know, 40 years later. Um, and I could have been a, you know, a ballet dancer, you never know. Yeah. Uh, easiest answer is I like good music, uh, no matter what it is. Uh, but that's an easy answer. I like the human impact. And uh, I like to hear the involvement of the performer, whether it is uh, uh, classical music or rock and roll or, you know, singer. Uh, I need this connection, human connection between us. I like to feel that the person who is doing it, doing it honestly, doing it honestly in a kind of artistic sense. Eh? Uh, only in this sense great pieces of music will come to be, whether this is, you know, Bach or whether this is uh, Bob Dylan, who is, by the way, my favorite, my second favorite, Bach is my favorite, Bob Dylan is my second favorite, so it's really two extremes. Um, that doesn't matter to me. Hmm? So as long as they're honest and they can give me inspiration and I can feel their own uh, truth in their works, uh, that's fine. I like all kinds of music. I have a huge collection of CDs from jazz, from thousands of classical CDs, obviously, but really, but also pop. Uh, um, and as I say, Bob Dylan or rock and roll I grew up with from Beatles and Rolling Stones. Uh, I must say that nowadays I'm really not in touch with the current popular music, let's say. Um, and what I hear, I usually doesn't touch me so much. Maybe it's because of uh, generational issues or, or, or differences or because I'm just not so interested in, uh, anymore in that sort of field. But whenever something inspires me, I'll op I'm open to accept it and enjoy and learn from it. Anyway, so I'm very happy that Bob Dylan got the Nobel Prize, I must say here, it's, even though it's surprising. And uh, whether he deserved it or not, that's how the story I think he did, uh, depending how we look at it. Uh, if it's a literature prize or poetry prize or what people don't realize, last year Nobel Prize was journalist as well. So it's also not a category of highest, highest literature. Anyway, I'm, uh, he was always my inspiration. And uh, I even named my first daughter after a song of Bob Dylan, Sarah. And. Uh, now, if you say, but there's not so much music in there, but it's just the same chords and he's out of tune and his voice is uh, 
husky and ugly, it, it doesn't matter if the music comes, honestly, th uh, it will touch and, uh, and it's great. It enriches all of us. I think the great news is that guitar can still develop so much and it has developed so much in the last 20 or 30 years really in both musical and technical aspect uh, radically improved uh, if you think of a guitar 100 years ago and uh, nowadays the technical improvement is immense incommensurable actually when you put the piano in the same kind of you know, uh, measurements, they did not develop so much. So the technique developed even, you know, before. So they don't have, you know, if you take top pianists today, it's difficult for them to find an open field to develop further. Whereas for guitarists, there is still lots of space in front of us. And this is a marvelous news. That's from one point of view. The other point of view, also great thing, there's more and more guitarists, classical guitar is really popular. In every country where I go to, I think music schools are packed with the guitar uh, pupils. Um, I think future is bright in this sense, very bright. Huh? So, young players, very talented, can be inspired by previous generations, which are, which are better and better. So, it's a recipe for success. Now, to talk about the other side of the medal, uh, today's globalization and uh, growth in population and uh, fractionizing of every single field is leading classical guitar, and not only classical guitar, but many fields, to create the world of their own. So what's happening in the guitar world, even though it's a very healthy environment and it's happening in every single country in the world, lots of festivals, concerts, CDs, discoveries, compositions, everything, but it's kind of enclosing itself into its own family, kind of a, it's feeding itself, eh? it's not spreading around uh, into the rest of the uh, music world as much as I think would be ideal, but even more and more enclosing itself into its own space. As I said, it's not only classical guitar, this happens also to, you know, neuropsychologists or to, uh, you know, many, many fields in the world. Uh, they are fractionized and they kind of feed themselves. So we are, the uh, situation is healthy in a way. I hope it's not going to implode one day. Uh, uh, but what happens is that in audiences also is a guitar audience and guitar festivals is thousands of students and uh, improving every aspect of a guitar world but what i would like to see is it's spreading further you know kind of like little through the little veins not to talk about arteries into the rest of the cultural world of the city or of the state or wherever of the world um, that's one of the dangers, you know, kind of see your own world and don't open your eyes wider. Um, people have tried, actually had really interesting conversation uh, uh, yesterday about how actually guitar has to kind of again prove itself into the rest of the music world. Huh? Like what Segovia did 100 years ago, kind of maybe we lost a little bit of that momentum and now we need to kind of recuperate it. If that's possible, is it that this due to bad guitar playing around or, you know, or, or due to lack of interest of the general audience or is that just general tendency in the nowadays world with the globalization and fractionizing of the fields? I don't know, hmm? but I would like to see guitar more spread around because it can only inspire. Well, just as I said in, 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 in this, my last comment about, you know, like uh, helping guitar spread around more, I think Guitar Co-op is a marvelous project which is precisely working in this field to, 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 to bring the top quality guitar uh, executed in a top quality way 
and present it in top quality style in social medias and on the internet and on the CDs and all other medias, it's exactly what we need. So I think Guitar Coop, not only that this marvelous project, is really absolutely necessary at this point in time. So it's beautiful, it's so phenomenally useful at this point of time, and I can just wish it all the best just to go on like this, and I'm really proud to be part of it, actually. Um, I think it needs support from all guitarists around this, precisely because of the name, yeah? guitar cooperation. So it should be kind of, you know, from all of us to add to it and to help guitar go further. Yeah? So really, you know, chapeau, my head down. It's the most beautiful thing happening. Mm -hmm.